What if we were to tell you something so wonderful that it is almost unthinkable? A giant leap of sorts in terms of understanding our ancient past, which has been ignored by world governments for centuries. Now, in modern times, Indian national leaders are attempting to rewrite the past thousand years or so. What they want to do is a visionary idea that links the very ancient past with higher technology and global influence, which is described in mythology. This is now being recognized as accurate historical records and the doors of suppression are about to be blown wide open. Wait till you hear this. It has been long argued that history is vast that the structures on this earth were built by machines rather than forced labor, and that the today and now is nothing but a pebble in the ocean compared to the lost history of civilization on our earth and even beyond. Long ago, there were gods, there were vehicles that could fly, and there were even visitations to this planet from elsewhere in the universe. Perhaps this is the reason the ancients repeatedly hat tip Orion's belt. From Africa to Asia, all across Europe and the Americas, and even as far away as Australia, there is evidence of a great flood. Evidence that the current civilization emerged from a deluge. We are the ancestors of the survivors, but the ancient civilization that predates our time in history is so much older that it stretches our consciousness to the very limits of how realistic we can be with this sort of information. We have crammed history into the past 5,000 years. It's a joke that we even believe this to be possible, never mind true. And we have been surprised with information coming out of India who are now taking steps to realize this to be true. This is absolutely pioneering, and what we are about to tell you should be applauded by the rest of the world. Hindu nationalists have long propagated their belief that many discoveries of modern science and technology were known to the people of ancient India. But now, for the first time, an Indian prime minister has endorsed these claims. Narendra Modi states, We all read about Karna in the Mahabharata. If we think a little more, we realize that the Mahabharata says Karna was not born from his mother's womb. This means that genetic science was present at the time. This is why Karna could be born outside his mother's womb. There must be many areas in which our ancestors made big contributions. Some of these are well recognized. If we talk about space science, our ancestors had, at some point, displayed great strengths in space science. What people like Arabahata had said centuries ago is being recognized by science today. What I mean to say is that we are a country which had these capabilities. We need to regain these. This is not the first time that Modi has publicly articulated such ideas, but he did so earlier as Chief Minister of Gujarat State and not as Prime Minister. He also wrote the foreword to a book for school students in Gujarat, which maintains, among other things, that the Hindu god Rama flew the first airplane and that stem cell technology was known in ancient India. Modi's claims at the Mumbai hospital initially went unreported in the Indian media. No Indian scientist has come forward yet to challenge him. Makes you think, does it not? This is one man making one claim. Imagine what else could be put forward. Every day, slowly but surely, more of us are waking up. The truth is out there. The writing is literally on the wall. Thank you for watching.